Well, hello there, my fine gardening friends. How the devil are you? Welcome to April in the Optimistic Garden, in the Optimistic Greenhouse. Um, and things are happening all over the place in the garden now, aren't they? Um, it's definitely warmed up here in Nova Scotia, even though, as you can see, was it yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, it chucked it down with um, snow all day. But that snow has gone and there's greenery popping up all over the garden and uh, greenery popping up all over with my seedlings as well. Um, and I thought I would take the opportunity today, um, since I'm off to London for a week, um, to put up these tomatoes that I've got here. Um, uh, they're a bit floppy because I've just watered them, um, but they've, they've, they've germinated in no time. And uh, as you can see, the true leaves have come through, the first set of true leaves. Um, and that's when you want to pot them up because this uh, leaf mould not got much in the way of nutrients. It was good enough for it to uh, germinate the plants and feed it for the first you know, couple of weeks. And it's been a, a few weeks. Uh, but really, I want to get them it potted up into uh, uh, you know, some new pots with some compost that's got a bit of, a, bit of oomph in it. Now normally I'd probably leave them, you know, a little bit longer. But as I say, I'm away doing a bit of a, doing a bit of work, so I thought I would pop these up now, and, and I'm going to pop them up into my usual plastic cups. And you might say, well, they're, they're a bit big, Steve. But you know, I, I, I've found just potting them up in these straight away, and then and then I don't have to pop them up again until I actually put them into the ground. So I'm not disturbing the roots, etc. Give them any extra shock, and, and and it normally does well. Now, as you may or may not know, if you've uh, watched my videos before, or you're just a knowledgeable gardener, um, tomatoes grow roots all the way up the stem here, and I can plant these right deep, as deep as that there, and they will grow extra roots. So that is what I'm going to do, and then. That will give them lots of chance to grow and grow the roots to give them extra nutrients through their growing year. This is just ordinary potting compost. Um, I'm not precious in what I I use. Um, I don't have to, you know, I don't believe in all that seedling compost, etc. Paying extra. So all I'm going to do, ah, oh, I tell you what. So these have come up really well in a couple of weeks, um, and I was away also last week, and um, literally sowed these and they came up really quickly and they came up a bit too quick because I had them in a, an area that was nice and warm but not much light and um, as you can see they've what they do is if they germinate and there's no light they will reach up to see if they can find some light and uh, they they went a bit they went a bit mad in 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 just a few days the these other ones are chilies and obviously they took a bit longer to germinate so they germinated when i put them in the light so they're okay i might actually pot a few of these ones up just to see how they sort of recover or if they recover because um, again tomatoes i can plant them right up all the way up there so we'll have a little look but the rest of them i'll probably chuck and re-sow these were cherries and some black crim of which I've already sown some other ones anyway. So let's get to the good ones at least. So all I'm gonna do is just reach under and then I don't wanna grab the stems, I wanna grab the leaves if I'm gonna grab anything. Now I might just grab that. So there we go, there's a little weed there. So all I'm gonna do is put my finger in as deep as it will go, give it a little wiggle, just push this down. And there we go. I've actually, on this one here, I've not planted it deep enough. So I'll put a bit more compost around the top. Let's try the next one and try make a better effort of it. Leave this out. 
Right, let's make a good hole. Big hole. Nice big hole. See what we got here. There we go. What still? Again, I'm going to put a bit more compost in there because, you know, I need enough so that I can put some water in. But I want to make sure that I use all of the the stem here with the leaves, etc. So I should get some more compost, really, shouldn't I? A bit of a spare. What shall I use? There we go. Right, what ones are these anyway? Let's have a look here. We've got, these are, early hybrid it says, I think. Yeah, early hybrid. Well, I'm gonna make sure I need to mark these, don't I? <laughs> right, so these are both early hybrid, I think. Yeah, there, along there. Yes, that's why they've come up, because they're nice and early. Right, where's my stick gone? I'm not together today, am I? Uh, good evening. Oh, I was just using this one. Good evening, memory man. Right. So, I'm not going to put all of these up because not all of them are in. Um, I've got their leaves out enough, I think. See, that's amazing. The um, the roots and that, and that's just after a couple of weeks. There we go, there you look, that one. Right, so as you can see there, I virtually covered the whole stem. So that's what we want to do, and then we'll get roots growing all the way up there, giving that a bit of extra strength. Right, let's, I'll do a few more, and then I'll come back to you. So there we go, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven tomatoes planted up. And these ones, like I said, nice and deep. When the old pros say nice and deep, they really mean it. So all the way so that we can get a good root run out of these and that, that can help them get all the goodness they need to pr uh, produce all these lovely tomatoes. So it's still early in the season, especially here in Nova Scotia. So, you know, they don't like any frost at all. So these are still going back into my sort of uh, patio area with big patio um, windows, so lots of light. Um, I'll soon be leaving them in, in the greenhouse, but I'll cover them and, uh, and put some fleece over them if there's any frost at all. But uh, for this next few days, especially while I'm, I'm uh, bedding them in, as they say, then I'm going to put them in there. Got loads more to do here and loads more outside uh, to do. I'm actually building a brand new raised bed garden area, which a lot of these um, tomatoes, a kitchen garden, where lots of these tomatoes are going to be situated. And, and as you can see, there's the first sort of uh, bed to be put in there. And there's my sort of plan up there of, of uh, how it's going to be. Um, so over the next few weeks, I'll be putting that in and then I'll be releasing a film on that one hopefully. But lots to do. It's really exciting now, isn't it? Springtime. Um, lots more seeds to do. I've got a, a seed video to do for April. That'll be coming out in a moment as well. Um, but, you know, everything you haven't sown so far, um, wait for melons, not melons, uh, for things like cucumbers and squash. Wait till right, right late in this month because they really like a bit of warmth. So <clears throat> they won't do anything. Um, until it's, you know, 
<clears throat> up in the 70s type stuff. So uh, there we go, tomatoes on the way and lots more to be, uh, to be, uh, to be potted up too. So hopefully a, a good harvest this year, bad harvest last year. So let's hope, um, I'll, I'll put a bit more effort in and hopefully we'll get some good ones this year. Job is a good one.